How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be redoing my Dolphin Emulator low end PC settings video because last time it was hard to hear my voice and it makes things a little hard to understand. So without further ado, let's get started. So first what you want to do is go into the configuration settings. And then we're only needing to do one thing here and that is click on enable dual core speed up and then that's it then all we're going to do now is go into the graphics go to general and we're going to do these few simple things so for the basic uh, section we're going to have the back end set to direct 3d11 then we're going to have the adapter set to intel r uhd graphics 630 aspect ratio set to auto then feasting turned off i like to have show fps on because then i can see what my frame rate is in games but it's completely optional. Then render the main window, have that checked. And then shade your compilation, have it specialized, default. And then we'll go to enhancements. And then on the enhancements section here, we will go to internal resolution. We're going to leave it at native 640 times 528. Then the 8 tie aliasing, we're going to have it set to none. And isotropic filtering, we're going to have that set to 1 times. Then post processing effect, we're gonna have that set to off. Then for scaled EFB copy, we're gonna have that set to on. Then we're gonna have disable fog on, disable copy filter on, arbitrary mid map detection on, force 24 bit color on, and we're gonna have these two things off. And this thing too, sorry, forgot about that. Now on the hacks. Embedded frame buffer, EFB, we're gonna have all of these set to on. Then on the texture cast setting, we're going to have the accuracy set all the way down. And then on the accuracy section, we are going to have GPU texture decoding set to off. And then external frame buffer XFB. We're going to have store XFB copies to texture only set to on. Immediately present XFB copies, or Im immediately present XFB, sorry, set to off. Then skip presenting duplicate frames set to on. Then on the other section, we're just going to have fast depth calculation off, vertex rounding off, disable bounding box on, and save texture cache to stay on. Then for the advanced. On the debugging section, we'll just have all this off. On the utility section, we'll have this off too. Then texture dumping, these will already be set on by default. And then we'll just have everything set to default here. Then the miscellaneous, we'll have crop disabled, backend multi threading on. Enable progressive scan on and borderless full screen set to off. Then just don't mess with these experimental settings. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to be doing a little bit of a gameplay test so I can show you that these settings work fine. I won't be able to do a Wii game because for some reason Dolphin's wanting to be kind of slow today and not process Wii games that well. But. I'm going to be testing it on a GameCube game, but you can leave now, uh, if you are, then thanks for watching and see you next time hopefully, but if you're still saying to see the gameplay, then thanks, I heavily appreciate it, but with that out of the way, let's get into the gameplay. I'm going to be doing Animal Crossing for the GameCube, because that's uh, probably one of the fastest running Nintendo games I have on here. I just do a little bit of gameplay, probably just go around, walk around my town for a bit and show that everything works out well. And as you can see, the FPS is typically going to 60. It was dropped down all the way to 43 just a second ago, but that was only because it was saving and stuff. So, yeah. As you can see, everything runs smoothly. This is, on, this is actually better frame rate than on the original console. So, yeah. This is pretty much just the settings I use and as you can see it works perfectly on GameCube games. It works really well on Wii games too but for some reason Dolphin's not wanting to 
work well for me today, so yeah. So I'm just gonna quickly save and then end off the video. I mean, you'll still get a little bit of slowness and stuff, but that's obviously to be expected. It's not like it can make your PC run perfectly with these games. But, yeah. Other than that, that's my settings. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one, hopefully. Peace out.